The Center for Nanophysics and Advanced Materials, or we call CNAM, is a bricks and mortar institution that houses 13 faculty from the Experimental Condensed Matter Physics Group at the University of Maryland in the Physics Department. So CNAM encompasses the faculty at Maryland that are studying condensed matter, experimental physics. So that includes very traditional fields of research such as superconductivity research and magnetism, quantum and exotic magnetism and correlated electron systems. But we're also exploring new realms including topological materials and metamaterials. There's, there's many different ranges of research so there's a combination of techniques that the faculty bring to the center, but also the areas of research. And the collaborative environment really brings together the ability to combine some of these things. So a lot of our work is associated with designing and making new materials. So single crystal materials, for example, thin film materials as well. So looking for new kinds of superconductivity in places where it's perhaps unexpected, where no one's ever looked before. Also trying to find more exotic manifestations of superconductivity, We're working with theorists to explore new kinds of materials, new kinds of phenomena that might support superconductivity where nobody had thought maybe it was possible before. So superconductivity is important because it's fundamentally a quantum mechanical phenomenon. You can only understand superconductivity if you start from the beginning using quantum mechanics. It has very interesting properties that are very non-intuitive and so we're constantly stretching our mind to understand new ways that superconductivity can be created and manifested in the world. We're both building and modeling and theoretically analyzing semiconductor devices made not only from new semiconductors, both three-dimensional and two-dimensional semiconductors, but also teaching old dogs new tricks by using very familiar semiconductors to do new things with them. One of the things that we've spent a lot of time in is developing techniques for generating, manipulating, uh, and measuring spin-polarized electrons uh, that are injected into semiconductors and then are transported through them. This gives us the opportunity to investigate the physical processes that bear on the spin relaxation and transport properties that could eventually be used in new devices that give rise to new capabilities or even uh, improved performance of existing devices. We work on bulk materials, but eventually we like to be going to thin film coating of the materials because that's the basis for electronics and integrated circuits. So, so to do that, uh, we use this technique called pulse laser deposition. Quantum materials hold the promise for uh, devices that had not existed before, whether it's uh, ultra high sensitivity magnetic field sensors or ultra fast uh, logic devices. Uh, quantum materials have the potential to lead to completely new kinds of devices. So at CNAM, we're interested mainly in how topological materials provide us access to new kinds of excitations in solid state materials. And one particular excitation that we're focusing on in this lab is something called a Majorana fermion. And what we're trying to do is engineer an environment in the solid state system using a combination of topological materials and, and superconductors where we can emulate or simulate these particles and, and, and really understand what their properties are uh, by creating devices out of these materials. So this suite of ideas going from theory to materials synthesis and development to measurements now is extremely strong. We have all of these things working together now and we can explore and we can, we can create new things that have never been uh, created before. The NIST Center for Neutron Research is a national facility of experimental physics and materials research. Uh, we serve about 2,500 uh, forefront scientists a year that come here to do materials research. So neutron scattering plays an essential role at uh, looking at the structures and dynamics of these materials. CNAM are the people that uh, make new materials, make new samples, and it's absolutely critical that you have high quality and well characterized samples before you ever go and do the neutron experiments. We have our postdocs and young scientists that go over to CNAM to make samples, characterize them, and we have the, the CNAM students and postdocs come out here to use the neutron facilities. The synergy between the NCNR and CNAM is, in all likelihood, 
the business model going forward, where instead of being specialists and sitting in our own little boxes, we are collaborating more often and people are becoming uh, experienced in multiple techniques. The world of quantum materials research is very exciting and active right now. And it's kind of the rubric that we now use to cover all sorts of interesting advanced materials uh, properties. The ability to see so many different sides of a problem based on the backgrounds from which people come really adds a lot of depth to the knowledge that you can gain as a graduate student. CNAM is a powerhouse of knowledge. I'm really excited about not only the current state of the infrastructure and the personnel in CNAM, but the, what the future holds in terms of bringing in new infrastructure and combining that with the, the, the young, talented faculty that we have on staff that are working on very new areas of research that will bring CNAM to become one of the world leaders in quantum materials research.